Well, now to flooding, still causing problems for people in the northern parts of our area. Some drivers even needing to be rescued after driving into high water. One of the problem areas along Mushki Road and Spring Creek on the northwest side of Harris County, Channel 2's Brandon Walker has been on the scene all morning. Brandon, this has been a trouble spot, and I still see lots of water covering that roadway behind you. <laughs> Yeah, most definitely, Jen. Talk about a trouble spot. In fact, about maybe a minute or so ago, I almost got knocked over by a big truck that almost bottomed out trying to make its way through here. Luckily, that driver got out. But as we give you a wider look at just how much water we're talking about and where I'm standing in perspective, I'm actually right at the beginning of where Muskie Road covers Spring Creek. You've got about maybe a quarter of a mile or so distance all underwater right now, still estimated at about two and a half to three inches. In fact, hasn't gone down much since we first brought you reports this morning during Channel 2 News today. This is still the big problem spot in our area. Two people had to be rescued this morning, and still officials say drivers need to steer clear. A roaring river at Spring Creek. Day two of overflow, day two of Muskie Road underwater. Day two of trucks taking a risk. I got a six inch lift. Steve Diakos made it out barely. Maybe about maybe two and a half, three feet down there. Yeah, probably so. I wouldn't have attempted it in the Dodge. Friday funnies aside. Oh, I think it's not a problem. My truck sits high enough. We caught several trucks driving through. That's a no-no, says the fire department. It's enough that it could sweep you down if you get into it and not know what you're doing. See the water inside. Charles Pennington was among those unlucky. Here's the water logged after. The before stuck along the creek at Robert Cemetery Road. I mean, I made it about halfway through. My car died, and the first thought was to open the door so I don't get stranded. He got himself out of the car. A friend and a passerby helped push him out. They shot these pictures of the rescue. Uh, they pushed it about halfway, and then I pulled my car and pushed them the rest of the way behind their car. Again, back here live among those happy, Charles's wife, Amy, who's happy that he got out all right. Another look at this situation here. Officials say that they hope that this will go down sometime today, but they're still, again, asking drivers to stay away from here because the water's moving at a rate of about three miles per hour. This appears to be the only spot still under significant water in our area this morning. We're told that most other parts where local roadways cross Spring Creek have receded, so that's a good thing, but this part is still a headache, and it looks like it's going to continue to be one for some time. We're live this morning in northwest Harris County, in fact, right where it crosses over into Montgomery County. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.